Ah, oh, hi YouTube. Hey, well in today's video we're going to look at a little incident I had. This is uh, not the ideal situation. My controls froze up while I'm flying. Now this is obviously something you don't want. You need your stick and your ailerons to work so you can control the aircraft and make corners and do turns. So obviously this was not a great situation to be in. We'll look at it and have a look at some of the lessons learned so you can avoid making the same mistakes. So this flight is just after our regional contest. Up till that point I'd been flying every day with water in my wing tanks. Now we put water in our wings so we can fly faster. Unfortunately my glider developed a very small leak. So the water was leaking from the front wing tank into the back of the wing where all the control rods and things are for the glider wing. Now I knew about the leak, it was literally just a very small drip so I wasn't too concerned about it and it had not been a problem up to this point. However this particular day the freezing level was a lot lower than all the previous days. So normally the freezing level was about 10,000, 11,000 feet or more. This particular day it was down to five or 6,000 feet. And of course we're flying in thermals at around seven, eight, nine thousand 9,000 feet. Let's have a watch and see what happened. If you're a pilot, ask yourself, what would you have done in this situation? Okay, I've got a, um, I can actually feel a bit of ice on the stick. So I am going to descend slightly down to try and keep it about zero degrees temperature and head back and uh, I need to go dump the water. I shouldn't have put water in, this was a mistake in hindsight. So I don't want to lose my um, aileron controls. Do we? So I'm going to keep moving the stick to uh, make sure all the things stay free. We're out of the sun a lot of the time, so that's not helping. And uh, wind chill factor, not good. I don't know what I was thinking. I should not have put any water on. You know, I know there's a slight leak at the moment, and why would you put water on? If there's freezing temperatures and a potential uh, and a, a leak, that could potentially freeze things up. All right, so to help with my icing issue, I've uh, descended to 5,000 feet. We're now at four degrees temperature, and I've just opened my dump valves to get rid of the water, because if I get rid of the water, then there's no more that can leak into the wing. And I just use my little mirror here for the um, engine to check that the wings are actually dumping and both are dumping so that's a good sign because if one was dumping and not the other I wouldn't want to continue dumping. All right now the next step is I need to climb back up again. Excellent well that's a good climb. So we're climbing at Mesopotamia. successfully. I think all the water would have dumped out by now. Oh it's hard to see but I think there's still a little bit coming out. Yeah little bits coming out nothing too major. We'll get back up to altitude and then just test and see how if we've got any problems or not. Still a little bit of water coming out. Let's just get the brakes out and we'll maintain. We don't want to go any higher until we've got rid of all that water. Make sure the controls all feel good. So full and free movement on all the controls. Still some water coming out. I wonder if uh, there's some chunky bits of ice in there slowing it down or something. 
Yeah, Oscar Papar, I just uh, descended at Mesa Petonia. I had a little icing issue with my ailerons and descended. I made sure I dumped all my water. It's all gone now. And everything seems to be good again. The air is better to the west. Copy. We'll climb up out of Mesa Petonia and head west soon. Next up, we're going to cross the mountain range here. Wow, I thought I was high enough, but man, looking at it, it's pretty close. I'm expecting to get a bit of lift here as I come over these um, mountain tops, though. If I don't, then I'll veer left, and there's a convergence running on the left there. I can run up. Yeah, I think I'll just go to the left here and climb up this convergence, run that ridge line there. And that way it'll be easy. Yeah. back it's four o'clock my feet are freezing my um, control stick my control stick is getting heavier uh, the longer I fly so I want to head back because there's something there'll be some ice in the wing and I um, quite like having aileron control when I'm coming into land in bumpy conditions it seems to work better at the lower flap settings it's only the high speed flap settings that it's getting uh, very stiff although it is quite stiff in zero now as well so it's evenly getting worse and so we're going to head back early and uh we've still managed to do good what have we done 320 kilometers flight which is not massive god i could have done another couple of hours easy but you know next time i'll have more socks on and less water on board. Freezing level today is only five and a half thousand feet, so it's pretty uh, pretty low, really. I have to say, I love these air brakes. I can put them out at almost any position, and they'll stay there hands-free. Thank you. I assume that's been designed so I can change flaps while I'm using the brakes, but it's just very convenient for general use. In fact, you need to be careful you don't forget about them. All right, so as you see, everything turned out all right in the end. Obviously, we learned a few lessons. One is really think about freezing levels, especially if you're flying with any water ballast. Shemperth gliders are actually prone to uh, dribbling and leaking a bit anyway from uh, the dump valves, unless you've um, Vaseline them up. That can always be an issue. That water can actually flow backwards and jam the ailerons. I think the decision making was pretty good during this flight. I identified what I think the problem is. I descended and tried to fix the problem as best I could in the air and then determined it was safe to carry on before leaving the safety of that airstrip. There are also more land out options along the way so if things did uh, get worse very quickly I could have landed at Tekapo for example. So once we got back, we filled out an incident reporting form. These are used in New Zealand as a way to keep track of any incidents and things that could potentially lead to accidents. And that way we can identify any patterns or trends that may evolve from any particular incident. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that and we'll catch you next time.
Well, you can go down to 500 feet. 